Hello and welcome to some more Tech O. Um, today we're going to talk about Christianity and how it's a technology instead of a religion. Um, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to have to basically emphasize is the fact that um, all the Christianity is, in a nutshell, using all these technologies, is a sex toy. And it's, it's for your parents and it, it's for them to use. And it's something you have to figure out, and it's something that you already know, something you should be very, very aware of. And it's something that I think is completely usable. Um, I think that it has to be used this way, otherwise there's something wrong with it. Um, let me, um, I can't find my pen anywhere. Um, let's get this one here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, first thing that I kind of uh, want to introduce as an idea is you know how those um, Indians have a red dot right here? I think that instead of having blood here, we should put a white dot right here on our forehead to let us know how this works. Um, for one, you know, in the beginning there was light, and um, you ever have a question, and there's never an answer in it, of course, because it's, it's a lorem ipsum is what it is. It's a book with, you know, nothing really said, you know, it just says stuff, you know, but if there was content, you know, which, I mean, there's no need to continue asking a question, ask the same question, you know, um, is that basically our head, our body is a dick. It's also a clitoris. You know, clitoris is squirt, dick squirt, you know, it's pretty universal, it's white, it comes out, you know, you know, women have that stuff that comes out that's, that's kind of like wheat, Consistency, it's like that tasty wheat bullshit. <laughs> and then, you know, males have the, you know, white bullshit that comes out, looks like light, is what it looks like. Um, you also realize <clears throat> um, really many things that are molest, molestation. Um, you know, one thing you'll notice is that, you know, you have to use everyone else's body parts and everyone else's gestures in order to really figure this shit out. And um, when you masturbate, um, here's a kid with a surfer cut, all right? He has hair like this, you know, and it looks like a penis, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it looks like a dick, and it is, you know. You know, has that little surfer cut and jumps up and down, you know, on the bed, you know, no. You ever seen the toe? And then it's just sitting there like that, you know. And then you say no, and then when you know something wrong, you know, slips off. No is, you know, a finger. You ever seen a fat person speaking for a long time, and they're like, you know, you fibbed, you know. Things like that are what we have to cover. Techo, you know. Um, you know, so anyway, this is also someone masturbating, of course. They have their hand on their dick, you know, and I mean, I've tested it a billion freaking times. I know that, you know, when I'm sitting there and I'm masking off, I can see somebody else sitting here like this. And, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a kid right here, you know, trying to jump on the bed, you know, and I can notice that, you know, that makes it squirt every time. You know, every single time it does it. Ha, 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 ha. You know, and it's so much compressed energy. It's so fucking much. It's more than a goddamn oil field. There is so much of that gasoline, you know. And see, you can't actually, I mean, mapping everything out with the gestures, you can't actually masturbate without someone doing this. You know, because, I mean, this is a dick and it looks like a person. It's really easy to navigate, you know. And, you know, it's also a clitoris. You know, they can't actually do anything without this interacting. You know, when you have children, all they do is fuck you all day long. You know, they're inside of your blood. They're inside of your hole. You're like a worm, and there's children in it in here moving around. The thing you have to figure out is, is how to move your body correctly, how to figure out those gestures, and, you know, how to realize how to kind of do something else maybe, you know, once we have figured this out, you know. Because, I mean, I'll do it for a while, and then all of a sudden I'll stop, and then I'm sitting there frozen and I'm stuck in a position. And it's just like that molestation time. You know, if um, anyone has ever experienced it, I'm sure about 20% of the human race has at least. You know, that's one out of five people. And, you know, it's just, you know, when someone's sleeping or someone's breathing, 
and someone else is being really quiet and you know, holding their breath and you know trying to measure it and they breathe in and they're like you know and they can they can see it going in the nose you can see that little burst of fuck going in that nose fuck it you know and I mean out and I mean this is extreme I mean a Buddhist monastery I mean this shit I mean that shit is way perversion and it is extreme molestation and um you know everything that the child does is now you know a sex thing when you look at the bible from now on realize that technology look at the jewish hat and how it looks just like a surfer cut you know but it is a white hat that looks like semen that's on top of your head you know Realize when you're giving the bread that your hand is like bread. You know, it looks like bread. It's about the same shape as bread. When you're breaking bread, you're giving out your hands. You're giving out pieces of your hands. You're giving out pieces of your feet. You're giving out pieces of your neck. You're giving out pieces of your hair. You're giving out pieces of this art. So, and, and then there's also the forgetting. The forgetting, you know, we have to go into the lyrical examination of that. You know, um, everything else is not really important about it. Um, it's just that it is a sex toy and that that's all you really need to know. <clears throat> um, you know, there is so fucking much of that right now today and that it isn't put into place. I don't understand why. I don't understand why they don't have a hundred people, five or 500 people just watch one person sit there and just everyone be as perverted as possible and actually find a way to sit there and watch that person and see what it does. Watch a person do something. Watch a person just do regular stuff. Have a bunch of people together watching one person, you know, be moved by those people. See them like pick up my hand, you know, and I mean it takes so much to pick up that hand and move it in one, one gesture. It's their gesture. You know, it's not an original gesture. You know, there's, and people have to move you, you know. And that's something that you will figure out. Um, nothing else is really important about it, you know. Um, I mean, everything it speaks about is basically just that. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that, but, you know, if you want to learn anything, there's really no reason. You know, when you go to a church, you know, you can listen to the syllable church and how someone walks up and stops. You know, and it's kind of shocking, you know, to realize that all that is is just a big molestation house. And that, you know, all those old people with, you know, old wrinkly looking bullshit. And, you know, there's people that are older and they don't look as shitty, you know, as other people. Then some people look like, you know, they got this like peely shit on their face and they have all these ugly looking wrinkles. And they're, they're just perfectly placed in the racing time. You know, when you're like, you know, I want that, you know, and you want to get with someone, you got to hurry and do something unimportant and something that isn't valuable, something that is useless and you do it anyway. And it's feels like danger, feels like speeding, feels like racing, feels like hurrying. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm going to get that $20 barbecue, you know, and just shit like that, that makes these old people be old people. It makes them older, makes them age more, makes them look shittier and makes them die more, you know, and all of that old shit. I mean, there's no reason to have some old piece of shit look like crap, you know, and, and that means that they have something that they have, you know, and they're just keeping it, you know, and it's not even something tangible. It's not even something useful. Um, yeah, I mean, it, and I mean, there is more to it, um, but it's not really interesting. You know, that has to do with the body. The rest of it has nothing to do with shit about the body. Um, you know, I mean, you could even say that, you know, everyone's supposed to be Jesus, but it, it makes no sense to have one person, you know, like a mushroom cloud, you know, just be that one dick that is basically everyone, one penis, his penis, you know, the woman, you know, you heard the story a billion times, you know, God, you know, impregnates, it's, it's, it's a penis that is impregnating, it's a person, Jesus is basically decapitated and killed because, you know, I mean, he, that person there is actually, you know, a virgin who can't have sex and it, he, and he is forced and controlled, you know, by that, you know, that family tree, you know, thing, you know, it, 
And it's that he couldn't have sex with anyone. And it's that he was having sex the whole time because it's, it's, it's inevitable. It's unstoppable. He's getting raped the whole time. He's getting fucked the whole time. He is getting fucked the whole time. You know, and he's getting, you know, I mean, every footstep you make, everything you do, someone is watching it and someone's going to make sure it fucks. You know, and to not pay attention to it is just going to not pay attention. You know what the word not is when someone's that insistent? Nut. And it always is. Not becomes nut. You know, when you nut, it's always jacking off, you know, or masturbating. You know, and the thing is, is that that's what that is. You know, is that that's a sex toy. He is a living sex toy for a parent only. He can't have sex. Can't have sex. Can't have it. You can't have it. You know, you ever you ever went to the dollar store with a kid and says, "Why can't I have it?" <laughs> can't have it. Can't have sex. You know, it's so fucked up. I mean, all of our all of our human race. You know, we're having 21 age limit, 18 age limit, 15 age limit, all of these age limits, you know, an age, you know. And I mean, it's so perverted and it's so much data to go through, so much information, 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 information to go through. It's so fucking much. And, you know, and then... You know, at, at that point, you know, you still can't have sex. And then you get one offer from a person that, you know, just like Mario, you know, is being controlled by your parents, tells you how to fuck, tells you you can't do it. You know, what, my first time being forced to do it, you know, I was not happy. And I, I didn't actually do anything. And I felt like I was fucking the whole time before that. You know, but that's what happens when perverted Christianity. And, um... You know, if it's not perverted, it's not going to make any sense because it doesn't give you any pleasure. It doesn't give you any pleasure. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't open up any doors. You have to figure out what that is. That's the only thing that you can do. You know, when they're censoring, you know, those are some words that we really have to examine. Censor. 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 You know, is, I mean, English is based now, you know, ever since, you know, the Roman times, you know, 300 AD or whatever. When they came up there and, you know, made it all Christian. Ever since then, our language changed. And it's, it's changed to have people as sex toys like this. And it's really fucked up and it's really inhumane. And no one's paying attention to it. And everyone's paying attention to it. And you don't realize it. You know, I remember meditating, which I don't even believe I can do. You know, meditating on Jesus. And he was sitting there with his penis and he said it was awkward and strange. You know, and... I thought maybe that's why, you know, I don't, you know, and I mean, people smelling like deformaldehyde, you know, and I mean, all it is is just masking up that fuck, you know, and I mean, every last bit of it, when you say fuck, when you say ass, when you say shit, I and mean, it's the only thing we say now, we can't not say fucking ass and shit, because that is what's going on, you know, all of our English language is based on fucking and just using that one sex toy, it's using that one man as a fucking sex to all awkward like, you know, like we got all these little bubblies popping up on our body, you know, <clears throat> orgasms, really strange, weird orgasms, deformaldehyde orgasms, you know, and, um, you know, I mean, that's the only thing that's important about it is to refer to that because you're looking at a book. It's a butt that opens. That's what I'm seeing. I don't see anything else useful for this thing. It's just something to put your face in, right? You know, I've seen me, you know, I've seen me put on a hat. I know that someone wants to exactly feel this head going in that hat. Okay, I have seen hundreds of thousands of people, okay, people that are observing me and watching me. They, someone, more than one person, fucking everyone is going to fucking do it. Everyone that can will. You know, and that's what you have to realize. If something's going to fit in that bitch, it fucking will. You know, and um, so, yeah, that's why I recommend, you know, having a white dot here to represent the cum that's coming out, you know. And um, I don't really advise it, but I think that it would be very funny and I think it would actually make people think a little bit more. It kind of scares me of having children now. You 
pleasure of knowing this. And it it fucking very much pisses me off, you know. Um, but it doesn't make me angry or anything. It makes me extremely angry. And um Yeah, and um you know, I mean there is a lot more that goes with it, but I mean as far as that, I mean it did come from the Jewish Hebrew thing, you know, and it's just it without the Hebrew part with the body mapped out. So, I mean, it, 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 it's more of an experiment, it's more of a technology, it's more of a failure than anything. You know, um, people that have gone to a Christian place, you know, sometimes I go up in there and then there'll be a person that was Christian and say, hey, how you doing? And I want to introduce me and talk to them and stuff. You know, and I understand that and I understand what it thinks it could be. But as far as an actual technology that has to do with my body, this is all it will ever be to me and all it will ever be. You know, and I mean, it sucks, you know, that, you know, it doesn't suck that, you know, there's, you know, that censorship law, you know, where you can't say something and then you can. But if we could actually be aware of what we're not seeing, you know, it would not be the fact that we could get off to someone that was 100 or 500 or 500,000 or 5,000 people in a room that's getting off to one person in a room that's sleeping, sleeping beauty. Just imagine, just imagine that there's other people, you know, just imagine that what we're getting off to right now is people because how would we get the max pleasure? They would not know that, that we are there doing that to them, you know, and if it was one person and there's all these people just watching the person, you know, watching it breathe, watching its heartbeat, trying to feel it, trying to see what we, what we rec recommend it recommended to it, you know, what would it want, what would it need, you know, is that right now what we're getting off to people as is someone who doesn't know, who's sleeping and has no idea it's going on, you know, and then we, you know, get to feel and touch and see or just look or just smell or just hear or just listen to the person. It's just like one fucking baby monitor. Do you know how much sex is in a fucking baby monitor? Do you know how motherfucking much is in anything? You know, and the thing is, is that we have to change and re-gear ourselves to make it to where that person that does not know actually does know that it's going on and they can consent to it, you know, while we sit there and do that to them in regular normal life because it would make us live a way longer, you know, way longer than living a hundred years. I think so. I think that we would live a lot longer, you know, because every single person that sees me, I'm not around people right now and I'm in a room with no one in it. But if there was that many people watching me at all times and they could properly consent for me to be there, you know, and it'd be like that. Imagine how long they'd want to keep me alive just to have me around so they could have me breathing and smelling. Because, I mean, I know what that's like molesting and stuff when, when I'm a little kid. I know what that's like. You know, I've been there before and, you know, I was, you know, very, very, you know, embarrassed. But that is something that, you know, is just life. You know, it's just watching a person be alive, you know, for, you know, just a regular person be able to monitor everything, you know, is what it feels like. And, you know, it changes the idea of everything. You know, when you look at when you look at a hospital, you know, when you look at the uh, hospitalers, this is all Christian shit. This is another technology, you know, is that people come to rush and save the world, you know, just like now they have the automobiles and everything. That's molesting vehicles, by the way. That's just people that are there to come and molest you, is what it is. When there's a hospital, there's someone molesting you. Someone wants to feel you. Someone wants to check your temperature. Someone wants to smell you. Someone wants to, you know, check your blood pressure. Someone wants to check your heartbeat. Someone wants to hear your lung capacity and content. They want to feel you, you know, jacking off a dick or inserting it into a vagina, or just fucking, or just doing anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be sexual at all, you know, but it, it, it's still, you know, it's still being monitored, it's still being watched. And so while you're, while someone is having, I mean, this is going to be something we will easily cover, but I mean, this isn't really everything about the techo shit, but, you know, the thing is, is that when I see an old lady, she's like, I need help. You know, that is a fucking sick sign 
You know, I mean, if you can censor shit, you better censor it. You better tell that bitch, don't fucking say this shit to me. Because they did not, they didn't even begin censoring shit that needed to be censored. You know, when, when someone's saying, I need help, someone's robbing me. And you're like, shut the fuck up. You know, it is sick. You know, and I mean old men, old women. You know, and I mean, I mean it. I mean, it's just, you know, when there's an emergency, all that is is just one excuse to open that door for that pervert to get in the house, you know. It's just, it's just like a dog, you know, like you ever open a car door and that dog wants to jump in? Of course it wants to get in. It's going to find a fucking way to get in. You know, it's going to find a way to get in that car and try to get away. You know, it's going to try to go right where you just said not to go, you know, or right where you said it would never go. It's right there. It is right there. That's exactly where it's at. You know, and I mean it, you know, I, I absolutely mean it. And, um, you know, so a hospital and all of that is a hundred percent perversion. It's going to be the only thing that you're going to be able to understand, you know? <clears throat> so, you know, the best thing to do is to avoid wanting to be at a hospital, understand, you know, <gasps> what this face looks like when a woman, you know, is sitting there fingering herself and you're still sitting there, you know, and you're like, you don't know that it's there because all of that pleasure is there pleasure is there you know you need to know that you know and I mean it's just stupid to actually ask the thing a fucking question I mean it, it might as well be I mean it actually has good answers you know I mean I, I've tried to get good answers before but it stopped because I don't think it's good enough I don't think it's moral enough I don't think it's good enough for technology if that's exactly what that is you know <clears throat> But, um, I mean, there's absolutely no reason to hear all that babbling bullshit about nothing, you know. And, I mean, yeah, all it is is just, you know, complete, you know. I mean, me growing up, I feel so, you know, fucking used, you know. And I feel like, you know, everything that I did, you know, was probably the best of my ability. But at the same time, I mean, you know, it's just something to think about, you know. You know, so remember, I mean, if everybody had a fucking white spot on their fucking head, I think they'd remember what it feels like to jump up and down and have shit squirting out of our heads. You know, and I mean it. I mean, okay, all right, well, you got police searching you down. Okay, you're a dick. All right, <clears throat> there's another one, another emergency. Emerge. You know what that is, right? Emerge. Boom. You know, huge explosion. Big ass thing going on, right? Yes. You know, hospital policemen. I mean, that's all that shit came from. We wouldn't have hospitals and policemen. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, we used to have fucking highwaymen, you know, people that would protect an area, you know, and it would just be just regular people. You know, this area is safe. This area is secure. You know, kind of like, you know, they had to pay a little bit of money. But that's the thing, is that that's what happens. You know, and, you know, police is completely... I mean, I mean, even if, I mean, anything before you see that person has to have the curtain go down. You know, there is still shit that's going to be there before they see you. They're waiting for you to pop up so they can just kind of, you know, shrink and crink up, you know, and not be seen. But I mean, I mean, the president is so fucking molesting you, you know, and I mean, if you realize this. And you realize how Christianity is like this, and you use it properly, and you let people know, and you let people be aware that, you know, I mean, we have, we have video games, we have, you know, <clears throat> characters. You know, my advice is to look at everything kind of like uh, those, um, you know, like in Mario, how like one character will go this way, and then it bounces off and goes back like that. I kind of wanted to say, you know, that is kind of a good way to look at people in here when you're looking at logistics. Look at people instead of having people just like overlap and all this bullshit. Make sure that you have it to where a person can just kind of go this way and bounce off of that person. You know, that way no one is going to be overcrossing each other. Nobody's going to be in a situation where it ends up making this bullshit. It's just the worst orgasm ever. It's probably the worst nebula that ever existed. I don't even like a fucking nebula. Cause it's just fucking disgusting. That's like, you ever seen somebody have sex that's like that? You know, it's like having a fucking heroin needle in your arm with all that blood and shit popping out everywhere. 
you know, and it looks disgusting. It looks like a huge accident. You know, an accident means actually did it. You know, you have to realize this shit. You have to realize that the accidents that's going on, you know, is actually shit that's planned as fuck. I mean, we have time to fucking organize the shit. You know, but that's not important because you're a sex toy. You know, go look at the Bible. Look at it. Look at the Bible. You know, all you're going to do in there is read about how it's a sex toy. You know, you're going to read about how the alcohol was there. That's part of the drinking part. You know, you're going to realize that you turn water into whining. You know, you turn grapes and put them in there. I mean, you will realize that all that's about is just about you being molested as a child by your parents. By everyone else. And definitely, you know, with some kind of censorship code. So anything that you're allowed to do, you're not allowed to do because you don't know about it. You're supposed to be aware of that shit at all times. I remember when I was two years old, I understood English 100%. I understood everything that my mom said and everything that my dad said. I understood every single thing that he said. And I was just using the tips of the words, you know, like when it has like that and it's got that little tip right here. It's like big word here. And then it made it to here. That's almost like, I mean, I was being used as a sex toy the entire fucking time. And it was completely abuse. It was complete, I mean, it was horrible. It was, you know, I thought of so many fantasies. All I was was another woman to get fucked. You know, all I was was another dick to fuck. All I was was sticking my head and granny's pussy is what I was doing. You know, and grandma's pussy too. And grandpa's pussy too. And his ancestors too. And it was disgusting and fucking gross and it's all old people. Looking at something new that just kind of comes out of this fucking ant pile of all these fucking cum things where just people are sitting there jacking off and coming, and it just makes a huge ant. It looks like an ant pile with holes with just little kids coming out of it. And it's not beautiful looking either. And if you even look good, it's because you didn't get touched. Because you actually, you know, uh, properly did it. You noticed it. You know, and just because of that, I mean, I understood English completely. And then after age two, I actually had to relearn English because I had the perfect way of the, I knew how to use my words properly, but it's almost like, you know, I'm getting engineered to not know what I'm doing while I'm doing what I'm doing. And because of that, I'm not aware of my environment. So I had to reteach myself to not know what I'm doing, to forget what I'm doing, to forget things, to lose things, to drop things. You, know, you ever see somebody say, you know, I bet you can't you know, lose one dollar and lose another dollar and then pick them up. You know, you can't just drop four pennies on the floor and pick them all up at once while someone else is fucking you in the ass or fucking you in the vagina as another person who's getting fucked regardless. You know, but because of that, you know, this is what you got to be aware of. You got to be aware that that's what that is. In the beginning, there was light. In the beginning, there was light. You know, in the beginning, there was light. In the beginning, there was darkness. And I mean, it is extreme. I mean, this whole house is such a technology when it comes to it, though. You know, <clears throat> but I'm telling you, it's something that doesn't need to be used now. But, it, you know, it's like this. I mean, this is a light switch. Thomas Edison invented this shit. But it's a dick right now. When it, it, it clitoris, too. When it turns on, it's coming. You know, everything is designed like that. You know, you see a fan, it's a person, you know, with their hands out. You know, I mean, every single thing in technology has to do with this shit. Having your kids and then fucking the living life into them and out of them. Fucking the shit out of them. And that's all it is. And I never noticed it, didn't pay attention to it. And, yeah, I mean, there isn't really much else to realize about that shit. Except for the fact that, you know, you have to kind of take, I mean, the, the stuff about Greek people and stuff has nothing to do with this shit at all. You know, it's just kind of like an invention they came up with to kind of make it look, you know, more new and stuff. I did kind of think that maybe, you know, Christianity had to do with other stuff, you know, such as, you know, a way to attack, you know, all the other gods that were there. It's still really boring and not very useful to really understand, but... You know, they had all of these, you know, original gods and stuff instead of one, 
oh my god, you know, one god thing. I think it's just stupid. I think it's a waste. Um, but just for him to like die and you know, because the gods killed him, you know, trying to make some sense. I think that if if you look at it in a double negative point of view, you know, I mean, I know a guy that killed some people in uh, in uh, California and he shot up a school. And I forgot what his name was, <clears throat> but anyway, that guy reminded me of that. It's like he said, I'm going to kill you, bam, you know. And I mean, I just, I don't really see anything else besides getting killed when it comes to Christianity. You know, when it comes to that dead end point where I can't put myself towards anything and that's it. It's because it's all masturbation. You know, might as well just be one guy, you know, milking you. You know, it's it's just... It's just, it's, that's what it is, you know, and I mean, there is nothing else to figure out about it, you know, <clears throat> I mean, even, even when you go down to the point that, you know, we have the Holy Spirit, for example, and I mean, this is, I, I'm probably going to put this on a different, well, fuck it, you know, the Holy Spirit and everything, you know, it's a whole I mean, it has nothing to do with any, it doesn't make any, it's not even, none of that, I mean, even this shit didn't make sense. Really, this is all you will ever need to understand or know. You know, you'll never, ever get any further. When some ignorant dumbass lays shit down for the millionth time, all it is is more fucking you, more molesting you, and interrupting you. You ever have courtesy? You have to wait on something? While you're sitting there and waiting, someone is firing shit off right in front of you with everything that you don't want them to do. Constantly doing it. And, I mean, someone that sits there and argues against your logic is the motherfucking most molesting, perverted shit, and you don't know what it actually is. Because there's two sides to it. You can't have something where someone is sitting there being perverted to you, and then you don't know what's going on, and then... It happens. You, know, you have to be aware of it. You have to be aware that that's the only thing we can say when we're talking. When people are talking, it's gay sex. When women are talking, it's gay sex. It's straight sex. It's, it's every other kind, you know. And that's something that we will understand. You also understand, you know, other random things that are important, you know. I'm going to go on about that. Um, and just that... <sighs> You know, I mean, there is a lot that goes into me just scratching this one eyebrow. Someone's looking at it, thinks it's a famous superstar. You know, wow, man, that one eyebrow, how did it move? How does it have 400 hairs? You know, how did you use that one finger? It's not even a question at that point. You know, um, but anyway, you know, I mean, I've tried to understand everything I can. And as far as Christianity, that's all it is. And it's that you sacrificed your life to be a sex toy so you can be just mutilated and moved around. And, you know, it's just that the parents is God and that the child is that child. It's the parents are the gods, is the God, the gods, the God. When you ask your parents a question, that's how that works. So it's easy to understand. You could even put a question mark and you can see how it looks like a butt it's definitely Latin I mean you can see the body here you know you, know, you can definitely tell you know that looks like a butt you know what I mean it totally does you know a question you know and <clears throat> you know I mean it's just every single thing that's a question you know I'm, I'm You know, I get interrupted a lot when it comes to this type of shit. But, I mean, literally, you would already have a continuous flow of what you already know. There is no such thing as reteaching a kid something that they understand completely. And they're continuing a thought for it. There's no way that you have to reteach someone something. You know, you don't teach them. Here's what we've been teaching. We're teaching someone how not to know half of what's going on. Half. Half of what's going on. Don't know what's going on, and then you do this over here. That's what we're learning right now. Because we don't know half of what's going on, and then we know this part. You know, Now we're learning to teach them 
that they don't know half of what's going on. But that's not true. Now they realize that we know that everything is going on. Yeah, you got to realize that. You know, when you lose something, when you forget something, it takes muscles to lose something and forget something. You know, and it never has to be done. You don't need to forget something. You know, it is staged. Everything is staged. There's waiting. There's patience. You know what a patient is when it's waiting in line to get something? You know when someone really wants something really, 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 really bad? That's what it feels like. Someone is waiting in line for me to pick up this pen and do a demonstration. You have to feel this shit. You have to feel what the fuck's going on. You know? You know, and I mean, that's all it's ever going to be, all right? It's, it has nothing to do with prayer. You know, I'm looking at, you know, I'm looking at, I mean, that's it. That's it. I mean, I killed it. If, there, if there's anything else for you to figure out, I promise. I mean, just look back through this video until you get everything. Because, I mean, I promise there's absolutely nothing left. You know, nothing. You know, and I mean, even speech at this point. I mean, how many people does it take to fuck and have sex? You know, as technology. I mean, how many people are going to have it and it's technology? You know, and that, that many people need to do it. I mean, why? Why do I need to forget and learn that? You know, and I mean, I'm for real. I mean, I have not seen much of a reason to get with anyone because communication is the same thing as sex. We'll go over that in another video. But, I mean, we'll go ahead and talk about it. I mean, okay, all right, so we have a fantasy, you know, um, pick up the pen and put it on the bed. Picks up pen. This is a pen. Puts it on the bed. You ever had somebody fantasize about that? No. Bad girl, bad boy, bad, 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 you know. That's all it takes right there. It's just communication. You know, pick it up, put it over there. That's what it is. I mean, if you wanted it in a nutshell, that's all That's all sex is. It's just saying, you know, do something. And I'll, I'll just observe it going on. I'll just observe it happening. And now we need to move past that. You know, we don't need to have it where someone is a sex one has to rediscover and relearn something that they will never fucking have to rediscover or relearn they already know this you know you're teaching yourself to not know what's going on is all that shit is it's teaching you to fucking be blind when you can fucking see you know it's teaching you you know to not know what the fuck you're doing while you're doing exactly what you're doing if there's any guilt all it is is you just swallowing cum for another person with a different body you know or some form of interjection there is no, you know, I mean, there's, there's some old motherfucker jacking off that's going to kill some nine-year-old kid in the neighborhood. You know, that is what it feels like. You know, that is what Christianity feels like to me. It feels like, you know, it's just a complete toy. It's a sex toy. It's a complete waste of time. It's a technology that was invented in 300 AD. Okay, that is old. All right, we don't need that now. We have better shit. And we have more to explain, and I will put that in the next video, because in 500 AD, we have Muslims. And it's not that bad of a religion, but I think there's something up its sleeve, because it must be even more trickier than the last one. It's an upgrade. It's just like when we have, you know, first we had dial-up, and then we had DSL. First we had Christianity, then we had Muslims. You know, that is something you got to realize. There is technology going on. We are inventing shit as people. We're putting shit together and looking at a technology that's going on. You know, is Christianity a waste? It's an absolute waste. There's nothing to understand except for the waste and the word weight. When you say weight, it has to do with something you're lifting. Okay? It has to do with something that you are lifting. Okay? It has to do with something you are lifting. You know, when you... You know, think about those words, think about sex. When something is a waste, it has to do with a fucking waste. Okay, it has to do with a fucking waste. It has to do with a waste. This is what it has to do. Weight, waste. Think about how this works. 
You know, this is something that no one is understanding now. Think about it. You know. And, you know, what it feels like to be Jesus, it feels like one person with all of these, I already explained it, all those little, it feels like these orgasms just popping up all over the place where they shouldn't be popping up. It feels all weird, you know, like you're trying to pee. You know, we'll go into that in, in the other part. You know, but this is just one description of one religion that I'm debunking. I'm saying that this is not very smart of an idea. I think that it's a waste by now. Too many people have tried it. I think when you make a game, I think that you should just play it one time and then, you know, then go to the next one and make a new one. You know, that is how things should be done. We shouldn't have it where we do the same thing and go back to the same thing over and over and over. Because we're looking at new things, we're taking more things apart, and then we're going to, you know, make something new, you know, figure something new out, you know, instead of go right back to the exact same technology, you know, but at least you can understand it and have pride about it, you know, and put, you know, get some, like, get some actual, like, paint or something and put it right here, and you'll understand what that, what that's like, but, I mean, I wouldn't put red paint because it looks like blood. And I don't think that's a good enough answer. I think that cum is what we need to understand. If you had a piece of cum right here and, you know, I mean, if, if there was three or four people like that and they have this right here, people would kind of wake up and they'd kind of realize what the hell they're doing to each other. You know, because all they're doing right now is making people fuck. And that's basically, you know, all life is about when it comes to being alive and existing. So, Christianity. 